Let's talk about the cycle, the cycle of fourths. You may have heard it referenced to the cycle of fifths sometimes they reference to. It's simply a mathematical equation. The best way I've seen it displayed, you'll see in your manuscript, is a circle. At the top is C. If you go a fourth one way, all the way around, C to F, a fourth, B flat, then E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, a, D, G brings you back to C. So it's really just a mathematical equation going a fourth up from the note, and that'll bring you back to C. The other way is the cycle of fifths. If you go C, go to a fifth, to a G, to another fifth, to a D, and you take that all the way around the cycle, you'll end up at C again. It's not that big of a deal. Don't make too much of it, but it's kind of fun to have that to go to in order to play uh, these scales through the cycle of fourths is what I like to do as opposed to playing it chromatically. You should also play them chromatically but when you play them chromatically sometimes you get into a pattern of a fingering and you're not really hearing the notes you're playing you're just playing a fingering and moving up and down the fingerboard and your mind can wander away from what you're playing in music as opposed to thinking about something else while you're regurgitating this fingering. Now let's play the cycle of fourths on the fretboard instead of looking at it as a mathematical equation. The way we're going to do this is we're just going to play the notes. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, so on and so forth till we get back to C. It doesn't matter which C or F you play. It's kind of like note recognition. If you have to look at the sheet to start, that's great, but... Eventually, you should have it so you can just play the notes through the cycle of fourths. So I'll demonstrate, starting on C, to F, to B flat, to E flat, to A flat, to D flat, to G flat, to B, to E, to A, to D, to G, to C. That's playing the cycle of fourths. Now you can make a pattern out of it too. Like, for instance, if you start here, F, B flat, E flat, you notice that pattern? But, as well as making a pattern, you should just be able to recognize the notes. You could pick any of the notes, C to F to B flat to E flat to A flat to D flat, to G flat, to B, to E, to A, to D, to G, to C. So again, there's lots of ways to do that. I think the key is going to be to every day, maybe pick out five cycle of fifths. Okay, five different ways to play the cycle of fifths. And just keep doing that every day. It's note recognition. It gets that sound of the fourths into your ear. And again, it's knowledge of the fingerboard. Uh, you know, you can play an F here, 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 you can play an F there, you can play an F there, you can play an F there, you can play an F there. You know, many different ways. So use all of those different uh, ways to play the same notes and make it into an exercise. Great exercise to do every day. So you're going to hear me reference the cycle of fourths. We're going to play exercises through the cycle of fourths uh, throughout this uh, method and in the upcoming segments. Let's move on.